Inside the Hilton, Park Lane, Channel 5, Review, Behind the Scenes Gop Needs More Star Power. The towering Park Lane Hotel is the latest to open its doors to a television crew. Hotels are, by design, generic and drama-free, but that hasn't stopped commissioning editors from trying to turn them into fly-on-the-wall TV stars. The latest to check in and give the hotels are exciting, actually, genre a shot was inside the Hilton, Park Lane, Channel 5. From an entertainment perspective, the 28-story edifice overlooking Hyde Park had a few things in its favor. By British standards, it is eye-poppingly tall for a hotel, with stunning views over London. It is also popular with international dignitaries, such as the presidents of Niger, Sri Lanka and Nigeria, who all visited on the same day in the competently assembled if unspectacular first episode of this four-part documentary. Coincidence? No, they were all in town for the coronation of King Charles. After the woes of lockdown, the coronation was a big opportunity for the hotel, explained Peter Avis, general manager of the Hilton's top-floor restaurant, Galvin at Windows. The producers did their best to whip up some drama. Restaurant manager Paul fell ill on the morning of the coronation, leaving his deputy to negotiate potentially the busiest day of the year. Pitfalls included two punters unhappy at being seated away from the windows and an annoying toddler who turned up his nose at a plate of artisanal cheese. Cher, the Dalai Lama and Princess Diana had all stayed at the hotel, but celebrities were conspicuously absent as the series kicked off. That was a shame, as this cheerful yet underwhelming installment badly needed some stardust. A teaser for the rest of the season indicated that a sprinkling of A-listers might eventually descend on the Hilton. It may be too little too late. After a thrill-free opener, viewers will already be tempted to leave the key in reception and head for the exit.